I've spent most of the day working on getting the wiring finished. I have completed the wiring to the flap motor and the starter motor on the engine as well as the primary and auxiliary fuel pumps, the power supply for the avionics which will have its own bus and also the power supply for the lights that will go out in the wingtips and strobes as well as the GPS power for the GPS unit. They each have their own breaker and I'll try to zoom in here. Uh, you can see they each have their own primary breaker and there is a master breaker on the end here which is rated for 35 amps and when it's engaged the voltmeter gives an indication of the amount of voltage in a circuit. Amp meter is not hooked up yet. I have to get a ballast for it, a uh, ballast resistor. Fuel pump switches are over here. And this, of course, is the ignition switch, which is working, as you can hear. Now, I did make my panel so that it would fold down. And I don't know how well this will turn out on the video, but let me put it back up here and you can kind of get an idea of the wiring here for the ignition circuit. I have a ground power and then my solenoid for the starter motor and the two grounds for the ignition circuit. Following down this hole is where the fuel gauge will go and here are the wires for the fuel senders, for the, for the gauge uh, senders out of the fuel tanks. Uh, the wiring is now completed for the RPM gauge and as you can see everything is labeled my switches for the fuel pumps, voltmeter, amp meter, master and then each breaker has a uh, let's see if we can lower this down you can see where they've all been labeled so when you're working on this thing you at least have an idea of what goes to where in addition to that I've also identified each end of the wire so no matter which end of it is on that you're on you'll know which circuit you're working with all of this of course will be followed up with a much better <laughs> much or better that's a good word uh, schematic diagram this is the flap motor switch and uh, follow on down the bundle here we come to the primary bus these are the wires here this is the 12 volts coming in uh, going out to the uh, ignition switch. This is coming in from the rectifier to charge the battery. This is the wire, the heavy gauge wire going back to the starter motor. Follows up. It's all secured. It's uh, done in such a manner that it's actually away from this aluminum tubing. Up, It's held up. I've got the way I've wired this here with these tie wraps to have two layers so that it's actually separated from the tubing and yet secured so that it's not going to move around here or get a big foot mixed up into it. <laughs> I've got big feet. That's pretty much consumed almost the entire day just doing that little bit. Starting to look a lot better. Starting to operate like a real airplane here pretty soon. We'll get the muffler mounted, the exhaust system done and we'll be ready to fire up the engine, put the propeller on and fire it up and do a test run. Thank you for watching these videos and if you have any questions you can go to www.excaliburaircraft.com and or call Tom uh, Carr at the factory on his number that's listed on the website or contact mm -hmm. me through emails through, the, through this channel. Again, thank you.